Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received a letter from the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, delivered by Kuwait's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Sabah Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah, at Shufa Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the deep rooted and broadly ties between Bahrain and Kuwait and the importance of further strengthening bilateral cooperation to benefit the prosperity of both countries. His Royal Highness conveyed his greetings and best wishes to His Highness the Emir of Kuwait. Kuwait's Deputy Prime Minister expressed uh, thanks uh, and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his continuous support uh, to the bahraini kuwaiti relations. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the Republic of Philippines Secretary of Foreign Affairs Alan Peter Cayetano at Shufa Palace. His Royal Highness commended the ongoing development of Bahraini Filipino relations, particularly in the investment and economic fields. The Deputy King highlighted the Filipino citizens' contributions to the Kingdom's continuous development. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to exploring new areas for joint cooperation between Bahrain and the Philippines. The Secretary of Foreign Affairs expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his ongoing contribution to the development of the bilateral ties between the two countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qadabiyah Palace a delegation of families from Askar, Jaw and Al Dur in the presence of the Southern Governor Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness stated that citizens remain at the heart of the development process and that the government is keen on providing the people with decent living standards that guarantee the community's security and stability. The delegation expressed its appreciation to His Royal Highness the Premier for his directives to follow up on the needs of the citizens of the Southern Governorate and to provide the area with more facilities and services. The Premier welcomed the visit of the delegation, adding that it embodies the importance of communication. He noted that Khalifa Town, which was inaugurated upon the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, will be provided with more services in the fields of health, education, housing and infrastructure. He added that the kingdom, under the leadership of His Majesty, has made substantial achievements and has reached advanced levels of progress and development. His Royal Highness praised the efforts of Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa to follow up on the needs of the citizens of the Southern Governorate through launching initiatives aimed at enhancing the level of services. The Southern Governor expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his continuous follow-up. He noted the importance of the prompt implementation of projects, affirming that the government is keen on providing all the necessary resources to complete Khalifa Town. The Southern Governor delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Premier on behalf of the people of the Southern Governorate for his continuous support. He expressed pride in meeting with His Royal Highness and noted the development of the Kingdom in general and the Southern Governorate in particular in all fields. He added that the wise directives of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa are the foundations for the government's work to achieve the visions of His Royal Highness the Premier. He added that the projects that His Royal Highness had directed to implement reflect the growth and development of the governorate, the most prominent of which is the establishment of a comprehensive health centre. Then, member of the Shura Council, Khamis al delivered a speech on behalf of the citizens of the Southern Governorate, expressing thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his ultimate supp unlimited support to the people of Bahrain. Poems were recited on this occasion.
سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي الوالد الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله ورعاه أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يشرفني يا صاحب السمو أن أقف أمام سموكم الكريم نيابة عن كافة أهالي المحافظة الجنوبية لنرفع إلى مقام سموكم حفظكم الله جزيل الشكر وعظيم الامتنان على ما تحقى به المحافظة من دعم ورعاية واهتمام من لجن سموكم الكريم وإذ نتشرف اليوم يا سيدي باستقبال سموكم لنا ولأهالي مدينتكم العامرة بالعز والخير مدينة خليفة والذين حرصوا للتشرف بالسلام على سموكم والتعبير عن شكرهم وامتنانهم لما يحصلونه من دعم منكم حفظكم الله وإرامكم ذخرا وسندا لنا وللوطن والمواطنين سيدي صاحب السمو الوالد إن مملكة البحرين عامة والمحافظة الجنوبية خاصة تشهد العديد من التطورات والإنجازات على كافة العسكرية والقطاعات فإن التوجيهات الكريمة المباركة لحضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه وتوجيهات سموكم حفظكم الله ورعاكم وتوجيهات صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد حفظه الله ورعاه هي أساس العمل الذي تقوم به المحافظة تحقيقا لرؤاكم وتطلعاتكم في خدمة أهالي المحافظة الجنوبية إن المشاريع الخدمية البارزة التي أمرتم بتنفيذها حفظكم الله لا تدل على النمو والتقدم والتنمية التي تشهدها المحافظة الجنوبية والتي من أبرزها توجيه سموكم الأخير لسرعة إنشاء مركز الصحي المتكامل ليخدم أهالي مدينتكم العامرة شاملة مناطق عسكر وجو والدور كمشروع خدمي أساسي يوفر لأهالي مدينتكم الخدمات الصحية اللازمة استكمالا للمشاريع الخدمية والتطويرية في تلك المنطقة التي تشهد توسعا عمرانيا كبيرا وتطورا ملحوظا على كافة المستويات سيدي صاحب السمو الوالد إننا في المحافظة الجنوبية نفتخر ونتشرف بوجود مدينة تحمل اسم سموكم الكريم اسم قائد بنى نهضة بلادنا واسم والد أحب شعبه فأحبه وأننا يا سيدي جئناك بكوكب كوكبة من أبنائكم ورجالكم من مدينة خليفة معبرين عن سرورنا وشكرنا وامتناننا على ما أمرتم به من مشاريع في محافظتكم العامرة بالعز والخير المحافظة الجنوبية التي تشكركم وتبادلكم الاحترام والتقدير أسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يحفظكم ويرعاكم ويمد في عمركم وأن يجعلكم ذخرا وبركة وسعددا للبحرين وشعبها الكريم الوفي والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعتذر لكم من شكري وتقديري وشكر وتقدير أهالي هذه المنطقة وهؤلاء الرجال الذي جاءوا لسموكم هم أبناء وأحفاد أولئك الرعيل الأول الذين ارتبطوا مع عائلتكم الكريمة بأواصر الود والمحبة والتلاحم هؤلاء هم الحقيقة الذين ارتبطوا أهاليهم الذين ارتبطوا مع أهاليكم منذ ما يقرب من 300 سنة أو أكثر فلكم من كل الشكر والتقدير على تفضلكم بتوجيهاتكم السديدة من خلال عدة مشاريع الحقيقة التنموية كان لها الأثر البالغ في نفوس هؤلاء الأهالي مرة أخرى يا صاحب السمو أكرر شكري وتقديري لكم باسم هؤلاء الأهالي جميعهم شاكرين ومغادرين لكم اتفاقتكم في هذه المنطقة ولكم كل الشكر والتقدير سلام يا سيدي يا فرحة الأرمال لك يا أمير المجد يا فرحة الطالة أجنى وذخرنا خليفة بن سلمان يدخلنا في الوطن يا حامي أركان أجنى وذخرنا خليفة بن سلمان يدرعنا في الوطن يا حامي أركان يا قايد التطوير النهضة والعمران يا قيس يا هتان يا من ويحفظ يا قايد التطوير النهضة والعمران يا قيس يا هتان يا من ويحفظ الصحة والتعليم والعيش والإسكان
والأمن يا سيدي يزيد الأوقات الصحة والتعليم والعيشة والإسكان والأمن يا سيدي يزيد الأوقات ربيت خير العين وكنا أبد مكان واللي ما بعد قصيت شريان ربيت خير العين وكنا أبد مكان واللي ما بعد قصيت شريان هذا هو الواي اللي يمير لك حيلان عون اللي الوفي عون اللي خوان هذا خليفة ابن سلمان الذي رقي الصعاب وألهم الأبكار رمته في الجود رمت سحاربا هلت فأحيت أوليا وقفارا أو رمته عند الخطوب وجدته جبل أشم وصارما بتارا ورث الفخار مع السماحة والندى والجود من آبائه الأخيار لله درك لله درك يا خليفة إنها شيم تسامت للوراء أوكارا قد ردتها قهرا وكانت عصية وسواك عنها دائما يتوارى His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Gadaybia Palace the Republic of Philippines Secretary of Foreign Affairs Alan Peter Cayetano in the presence of a number of ministers and officials. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahraini-Filipino relations are based on mutual respect and understanding which contributed in enhancing ties of friendship and cooperation between the two friendly countries in various fields. The Prime Minister noted that the Kingdom aspires to bolster economic and trade ties with the Philippines and expand cooperation fields to enhance the existing partnership by activating the work of the High Joint Committee for Bilateral Cooperation between the two countries. His Royal Highness noted the importance of the private sector in both countries in supporting cooperation in education, health, food security, tourism and other sectors of mutual benefit for both countries and their people. The Premier stressed that Bahrain enjoys an investment-inducing environment. The meeting reviewed the course of bilateral relations and the efforts to activate the agreements of mutual cooperation between them and optimize the use of items in accelerating the pace of development and cooperation in the areas of investment, health, education and food security for the benefit of the two people. His Royal Highness hailed the role of the Filipino community and its contribution in the development march of Bahrain, expressing respect and appreciation to the community. For his part, the Filipino Secretary of Foreign Affairs expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his interest to develop relations between the two countries, hailing the wisdom and knowledge of his Royal Highness. He affirmed his country's keenness to benefit from Bahrain's strategic location and its advanced economic and financial position to be a gateway for economic and trade cooperation between the Philippines and the Gulf Cooperation Council countries. He also praised Bahrain's legislation and modern laws that preserve the rights of expatriate workers, praising the support provided to Filipino workers in Bahrain. He noted the Philippines' keenness to enhance ways of benefiting from the capabilities of both countries to strengthen cooperation and expressed confidence in the future of bilateral relations to achieve the aspirations of both countries and their people. On the occasion of the victory of Bahraini runner Berhanu Baliu in the men's 5,000 meters race in Shanghai, China, the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the West Asian Athletics Association, and president of Bahrain Athletics Association, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work in Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness affirmed that Berhan Ubalu's victory in the second round of the Diamond League and achieving the best global record of the year is a source of pride and a result of the, of the support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to sports as well as the follow-up of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. He added that 
Bahrain Athletics has gained a new global runner which will be of great importance in the future, especially for the 2018 Asian Games which will be held in Jakarta and the 2020 Tokyo Olympic. His Highness noted that Berhanu Balu's victory embodies His Highness Sheikh Nasser's 2018 gold-only slogan which reflects the keenness and determination of all runners to win gold medals. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain Athletics Association will spare no efforts in supporting Berhanu Balu in the 5,000 meter race to increase the achievements of Bahraini sports in various foreign forms. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputized the Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Committee of Rajd Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Honor Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to attend this ceremony to crown the winners of the Military Show Jumping Championship, which was held under the patronage and presence of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom and Ireland as part of the Royal Windsor Riding and Equestrian Festival in the Royal Park of Windsor Castle. His Highness was accompanied by His Honor Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman. Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The ceremony was attended by His Royal Highness Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and a number of British dignitaries and invited guests. The show jumping championships were held on the Cup of His Majesty the King and the Range Rover Cup for military jumping. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and His Highness Sheikh Isa presented Bahrain's first place prize to the representative of His Majesty the King for charity work in youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, the Royal Team leader is Haris Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who won the first place in the Royal Windsor Equestrian Race. The award was received on behalf of His Highness Sheikh Nasser by Ahmed Janahi. Her Majesty the Queen and His Highness Sheikh Isa crowned the Bahrain Defence Force the BDF, the first winner of the Range Rover Military Championship, consisting of Sergeant Ahmed Mansour, Corporate Yusuf Musa, Sergeant Ahmed Mansour and Sabr Salman. Sergeant Ahmed Mansour was honoured for his victory in the individual jumping competition. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman presented His Majesty's Cup to the German rider Daniel Duzer. He also presented the prizes to the winners of the second and third places. He expressed pleasure to attending to attend the awards ceremony at the Royal Windsor Festival under the patronage of Her Majesty the Queen. He praised the historic friendship between the two countries thanks to the support His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II to continue its development in all fields. His Highness also congratulated the winners for their high performance in the competitions. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman and Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman congratulated members of the BDF team for their good results.
The Shura Council today held its weekly session presided over by its chairman Ali bin Salah al-Saleh, where it approved a draft law amending Article 3 of Decree by Law 14 of 2002 on practicing political laws. The council also approved a draft law amending a number of provisions of the Court of Cassation Law issued under Decree by Law 8 of 1989. The council approved a draft law amending the recommendation of the Foreign Affairs Defense and National Security Committee regarding the ratification of an agreement between the Bahraini and Egyptian governments on evading double taxation and preventing tax evasion on income taxes. The Council also approved the recommendation of the Services Committee on a draft law regarding Bahrain Polytechnic University under Decree No. 8 of 2018. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa to attend the AMA International School 10th Batch Graduation Ceremony, which was held at the Gulf Convention Center in Gulf Hotel. Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid conveyed the congratulations of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the graduates and their families, hailing their hard work and enthusiasm during their academic studies and wishing them success in their future endeavors. He affirmed that the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, patronizes education prioritizes education as it represents the cornerstone of development and advancement. He also asserted the government's keenness on developing education in its various dimensions. He noted that Bahrain prides in its government and private educational establishments. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid also hailed the vital role of AMA International School in supporting the development of the educational system in the kingdom as a result of the high-level administrative and educational caters and establishments in the university. He congratulated the graduates and their families, affirming that graduation marks the beginning of achieving their ambitions, urging them to continue their education and develop their skills and abilities. The Philippines President, Special Envoy to the Gulf Corporation Council, the GCC Member States, and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the University, Dr. Amabel Aguiles, delivered a speech during the ceremony in which he congratulated the graduates for their achievements during the 12 years of their education. The Minister of Education, Dr. Maj Majid bin Ali Naimi commended the patronization of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, which comes in line with his continuous support to the educational sector and his keenness on developing human resources through investing in their education and training. The minister stressed the keenness of the kingdom to develop the, five, the private education sector. He also congratulated the graduates, wishing them all success. The president of Bahrain Basketball Association, BBA Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, participated in the fifth consultative meeting of the heads of Gulf unions and the GCC Basketball Regulatory Commission, which was held today in the Armani capital, Muscat, on the sidelines of the 38th GCC Basketball Championship. The BBA pres president delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to the Armani Federation for its warm welcome and generous hospitality. He also hailed the efforts of the championships organizers. A committee. The BBA president suggested changing the name of the championship from the GCC championship to the Gulf Basketball Cup. The Minister of Interior Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa patronized the first Information Security Forum Trust 2018 organized by the Information and E-Government Authority at the Public Security Officers Club in the presence of the Works Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning. The Minister of Information Affairs, the Under Secretary of the Interior Ministry for the Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs and the General Director of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau as well as senior officials in the ministries and various sectors were there. The minister affirmed that holding the forum reflects the necessity for joint work to protect information security based on the growing importance of this topic which became one of the security challenges that should be addressed on the local and international levels, especially with the increase of security threats that target economic institutions. He noted the necessity to continue specialized training programs and using advanced technology to protect telecommunication systems and information technology. The Minister of Interior noted the importance of reviewing successful experiences and modern methods of combating cyber crimes, expressing a thanks and appreciation to all the affiliates of the Information and E-Government Authority and the organizers of the Trust Program for Information Security, wishing them all success. For his part, the Chief Executive Officer of the Information and E-Government Authority, Mohammed Ali al qaid expressed pride and gratitude for the patronization and support of the Minister of Interior to the Authority's projects and initiatives 
which contributed to the implementation of the authorities' plans and strategies that are in line with the government's work program and its vision in the fields related to information security. He affirmed that the authority has adopted the use of modern technology to provide government e-services and has implemented the national strategy adopted by the committee as part of the Trust Program for Information Security. He added that the authority has detected attempts to launch cyber attacks and operations to infiltrate the government system. The Minister of Interior honored the ministers and representatives of 15 government institutions that met the requirements of the Trust Program. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met in his office at the Ministry's General Court today the Secretary of Foreign Affairs of the Friendly Republic of the Philippines, Alan Peter Cayetano, in the presence of the Philippines President's Special Envoy to the Gulf Cooperation Council of State, Dr. Amir Belagueles. The Minister of Foreign Affairs reviewed the relations between Bahrain and the Republic of the Philippines, expressing the Kingdom's pride of the development of these relations in various fields. He affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to improve cooperation and joint coordination with the Philippines regarding regional and international issues in various forms for the benefit of the two countries. He noted the role played by the Filipino community in the comprehensive development process in Bahrain. The minister then wished the Republic of the Philippines and its friendly people further progress and prosperity. For his part, the Secretary of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of the Philippines expressed pleasure in visiting the Kingdom of Bahrain and meeting with the Minister of Foreign Affairs. He further stressed the keenness of the Republic of the Philippines to strengthen its distinguished relations with Bahrain at all levels and to continue exchanging visits and meetings between the officials of the two friendly countries to achieve mutual interest. He also wished the kingdom for their progress and prosperity. The Eurasian Business Forum EBF 2018 commenced at the Ritz Carlton under the theme Building Milestones. More on this report with Mohammed Youssef. Eurasian Business Forum, EBF 2018, is poised to be one of the prominent events in the Eurasian cooperation spheres. EBF 2018 is bringing together heads from related government agencies, the leading private companies and members of the experts community from a number of Eurasian countries. Well, I think the world is changing, the business environment, innovation pace is at an increasing pace that we really have to keep up with it and the world is interconnected and until now the Euro-Asian region, the countries of Euro-Asia, trade volumes and business cooperation among them is still at a low level compared to other um, you know, trade levels with other regions. And when we consider the capabilities within our own countries in the GCC and the other capabilities uh, in other Eurasian uh, countries, whether it was in um, uh, Russia, Kazakhstan, uh, Azerbaijan, China, Korea, all of these countries have capabilities that we have to be able to learn about and they have to learn about also what we can offer. The event is organized by Riyadh Consulting Group. The goal of the forum is to build an understanding of the potential offered by the various participating Eurasian countries and how the cooperation between the various countries can enhance the performance of the economies of Eurasia. This was the uh, idea of Riyadh Group, I mean the proposal of Riyadh Group and in cooperation with partners you know, from uh, Russia and other Eurasian countries and also from GCC countries, we decided to, uh, say, to call for Eurasian Business Forum it's a first event, actually first event in history, because you know this was the first format. Uh, the main idea is to promote Bahrain as a place and say it, you know, the central point 
where is the different nations from Eurasian, you know, great market can meet, can exchange their top ideas, you know, can also exchange their knowledge and technologies, you know, goods, products, you know, industries, and uh, to promote it widely also in their countries. The event will be a great benefit through the discoveries and technologies as well as facilitating the exchange of knowledge and promoting cultural understanding through technology, tourism and educational cooperation. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamid Youssef.